Iowa's House 82 special election is underway and the candidates are getting ready to start campaigning. Both the Republicans and Democrats of Jefferson, Davis, and Van Buren counties elected their candidates for the August 8th election. From the Democratic Party is Fairfield resident and veterinarian Phil Miller. He says he is running for the position to honor the legacy Representative Kurt Hansen left. Now we're trying to make decisions on how to fill those big footsteps and uh, I decided to step forward and I've been given the opportunity to, uh, to maybe go to the uh, State House and represent District 82. Miller is also the president of the Fairfield School Board of Education. He says he is a big advocate and champion for public education. I really think uh, public education here in Iowa is the bedrock of, of, of everything in our state. And uh, it, it seems like it's been somewhat short, short changed over the last four years. And I want to get it back at the top of the list of the reason we have state government and tax revenues. On the Republican side is Davis County resident Travis Harris. He works for Farm Financial Strategies where he helps families figure out how to pass their farms on to the next generation. Harris says his work will help him to better serve Iowa as a state representative. I will continue to do that. I will continue to meet with my clients and represent Iowa and use the same principles and values that I do with that. Uh, to represent uh, rural America at State House. Harris says he is in the process of figuring out his campaign strategy, but knows he needs to reach out to the public. The thing I need to do is get my team together and as fast as possible, um, get some signs made, get a plan together to go out and start knocking on doors and seeing people and making appearances and start listening to the public and then if nothing else, they need to get out and vote in the special election. The Democratic Party has already begun its campaign. Before the official nomination of Miller, the party sent out flyers in the mail encouraging residents to vote. Back in 2009, when Representative Kurt Hansen won the seat, the special election cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. This time around, though, Wapalo County Republican Chair Trudy Kavanis says it's not going to be that much. She thinks that there's not a whole lot of media interest and it's a fairly small election. Reporting here in Atumwa, I'm Aish Benin, KTVO News.